Good morning, you beautiful peeps. My name is John Michael to my channel, and today it has arrived. It's here, the WO Toys 104001. I have not driven this. I've actually done an unboxing. I've greased the diffs. That will be on the next video. But I've left the driving until this glorious day because the YouTube gods have not been shining kindly on it. I got it last. What can you do? And the weather's been really bad in Malta lately. What can you do? You can prepare for this day, which is get the car out and drive it. Let's get on. Okay, loads of people have already done speed runs, so I didn't really see the need of it, but seeing as we're here on gravel, we're quickly gonna do it with a GPS. Okay, you see on the app, we're gonna hit start, and let's see what the car can do. Guess we'll stop there, as good a time as any, isn't it? All right, let's wait for it to catch up. Stop! Can you see it, Colin? Yes. We have 36 big kilometers an hour. I mean, it is very gravelly here, very bumpy, so I didn't expect any more than that. But that's speed run done. Let's get on with some fun.
ladies and gents, what can we say about this car? Is it as good as what we expected? Both yes and no. Uh, Speed-wise, everybody is going to be disappointed with the speed of this. I'm sorry, 36 to, I think the fastest I've seen is 41 kilometers an hour, is too slow. No one likes it going that slow. Um, it's a great starter car though, you, you have to say, it's very robust. We have been driving this and you've seen the footage. We have hit the crap out of it and nothing's broken. One of the uh, steering arms popped off. That's it. No other damage than that. Um, it's taken a beating. You can see that. You have a look inside. It is a bit dusty, but there's nothing here that has had any damage. My initial concerns about the, um, the shock tower bending has not happened. And Colin, who's recording now, did his best to test that theory out, to snap it. He was upside down more than he was uh, actually on the wheels, and he's not managed to damage it. Uh, the steering is absolutely fantastic. As soon as you get a brushless system into this, you are going to have one formidable car, without a shadow of a doubt. I, I truly do believe that they've made a winner here. Um, the shocks, uh, I have done a second video already, which I said at the start of this video, and I sort of compared like the 124019 shocks, because these ones are by far a lot wider. But it wasn't, if you just zoom in a little bit, Colin, it wasn't until I tried to wind this down a little bit and I pulled this spring down to do that, that I realized that the springs are so much stronger than on the previous model. So they have done a lot of work on this car to make it as good as what it is. I do love the fact that they've kept the metal theme up. Now, thank you to Maker Fire to sending the, uh, for sending this to me for free. Very kind of you. Um, I, I really don't know what to say. Do I recommend it for 150, 160 right now? Yes, yes. As long as you've got 50, 60 euros to throw a brushless system into this or 80 if you don't have a controller, um, then yes, most definitely. Because the car that this was uh, inspired by, let's call it that, uh, the LT Racing 10B5, I think it's called. That's like $350 with no electronics. So already you've got the framework for a great car. Are there issues? No, I haven't had any except for that one incident there. Not at all. You're going to see on the next video me attempting to get into the uh, front differential don't laugh I didn't know how to get into it I was taken off like 458 screws to find out it requires just four sorry I was holding the pin just four to get into the diff now which is fantastic so that is absolutely brilliant <laughs> everybody's decided to come along here at this precise moment it's very annoying <laughs> so, so can I recommend this car Yes, most definitely. It's a great base to start off from. Um, I don't believe you can run 3S. I've heard a few reports of the ESC blowing, so don't attempt to do that, please. I'm not going to attempt to do that because it's a lottery again. Uh, so the, the car itself, you saw we were trying really hard to get some good jumps and to get some flips and whatnot, and the car wasn't having it because it's a little bit heavy. So it was staying on all four wheels, which is exactly what it's supposed to be at the end of the day, isn't it? So if you like the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.